Hey, what up? It's Ty1822 here to review WWE Monday Night Raw. So Raw kicks off with Team Hell No. So you got the shield in the crowd and you got Kang on a microphone. Kang is telling him he want a fight. Um, Kang and Daniel Bryant had a tag team match with the primetime players. I didn't even know that was the primetime players because WWE gave them a new theme song. So I didn't know who the hell was, you know, who the hell was coming out the whole time. Then, you know, I see, oh, it's primetime players. And WWE, please give the primetime players back the original theme song. I am not feeling the new one they got now. Um, but uh, Daniel Bryan and Kang defeated the primetime players. Then the Shield came out, beat down Daniel Bryan and Kang. I like this stable so far, and I hope WWE don't drop the ball with them. Please don't drop the ball. But it's typical WWE, so I, almost, I expect them to drop it anyway. But I'm still hoping they don't. And that's a lot to ask for, too. AJ Lee versus Tamiya. AJ Lee gets the victory. See on Paul, Paul Hammond comes out. You know, Paul talking about he's the best in the world. You know, he about to pass John Cena for, you know, for one of the longest title reigns in WWE history. And then he said, you know, fans have been saying, oh, the reason why, you know, he's still champion because Brad Maddox and the Shield. And he was saying, I has nothing to do with Brad Maddox and The Shield for you know, me retaining my WWE champion. He's saying it was him, not Brad Maddox, and not The Shield. So The Miz comes out, and The Miz said, BS, CM Punk, we all know you are behind this with Brad Maddox and The Shield. So The Miz was like, hey, I want you to take a lot of the tech to test on Miz TV later on. I was like, what? A lot of the tech to test? I think the last time WWE, you know, uh, did a segment with a lot of tech test was Hulk Hogan at the time as Mr. America, you know, one of the worst gimmicks of all time, I should say. But at that time, before I was a mark, it was cool as hell. I got older and I said, God damn, that was a dumbass gimmick. But Hulk Hogan, you know, still the man. Um... Uh, shit, I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh, I'm just going to move on. But a lot of tech to test, really, WWE, how dumb is that? Dolph Ziggler and the Big Show teams with, I'm biasing. Sorry for that. Let me start over. Dolph Ziggler teams with the Big Show versus John Cena and Sheamus. This was a good match. I love the ending. Um, Cena, you know, had um, Dolph Ziggler and the AA. Sheamus, you know, got a uh, show in the white noise. They both hit the finisher at the same time. John Cena and Sheamus beat the big show and uh, Dolph Ziggler. Damian Sendow comes out. You know, he's looking for his, uh, uh, he's looking for, uh, um, oh, shit. What he looking for again? Uh, oh, fuck it. It was a useless segment anyway. Alberto Del Rio versus Sin Cara. This was a good match right here. Alberto Del Rio gets the victory. I'm tired of Sin Cara versus Alberto Del Rio because it's one-sided. <laughs> you know, every time they have a match, it's good matches, but it's one-sided. I don't even think Sin Cara defeated Alberto Del Rio yet. Vince McMahon and Vic Guerrero, you know, in the ring. Um, and Vince like, hey, you know, I want to see something at the TLC, you know, pay-per-view. So Vic Guerrero was like, how about Dolph Ziggler and John Cena and no disqualification match? That's like, Vicky, this is a TLC pay-per-view. I need something better than that. So he said, what about a ladder match at the TLC pay-per-view? Vic Guerrero said, uh, Vince, you need a championship, you know, to be in a ladder match. And he was like, what about a briefcase? So it's going to be John Cena versus Dolph Ziggler in a ladder match for his money in that bank briefcase. Then um, Vince was like, you know, CM Punk, you know, tonight he got he got a lot of um, tech to, the shit to do on Miz TV. And he was like, hey, if, you know, if Punk fell his lot of tech test, what's going to be the punishment? Vicky said, if CM Punk fell his lot of tech test, next week on Monday Night Raw, it's going to be Paul Hammond. Versus Ryback. 
Bray Maddox, you know, talked to Vic Guerrero earlier in the show, and he still won a contract. Vic Guerrero gave him a match against the Viper Randy Orton or the H Pack Predator, all the nicknames they give him. Um, of course, Randy Orton uh, beat Brad Maddox. Then the Shield came out, took out Randy Orton. I'm glad he did that because you got to make these guys look credible. And it never came to my head that the Shield should attack Randy Orton. I never thought about that yet. Like, the Shield didn't need to attack Randy Orton. I'm glad they did, but it never came to my head that they should, uh, you know, attack Randy Orton. Because I thought they just was going to really just attack Rob back. I thought the, the, the thing would be just attacking Rob back, and I'm glad it's not just Rob back, you know, it's Team Hell No, so I'm glad they doing that with the Shield. I was just expecting, you know, just Rob back. That's, that what I, that's what I was thinking the whole time with this stable. Um, Kobe Kingston, are true uh, Wade Barrett, and Antonio Zazaro. Now, this was supposed to be a tag team match, but tag team Teddy Long broke it up and it, it is not a tag team match, fatal four-way match. Now, Teddy decided to make it a championship match. Is it going to be Antonio Zanzaro defend his United States championship or Kobe Kingston his Intercontinental championship? It was Antonio Zanzaro championship, fatal four-way. This was a match of the night. Antonio Zanzaro retained his United States championship. This guy is very good, man. He's very good. Very physical in the ring, and I love that uppercut he be giving people, man. It's a sweet uppercut, man. Just as good as that guy gave that girl on a bus uppercut. That's how good it is. Y'all should appreciate how good that shit is. Miz TV, CM Punk, Live Detective Test. Um, you know, Punk passed a couple stuff. Then it got to the real question. CM Punk, are you behind the Brad Maddox thing in the shield? Before he says something, the shield came out. Attack the Miz. Team Hell No came out to attack the Shield. Um, big ass brawl started. Uh, they all went in the crowd when Ryback came out. He attacked them too. So CM Punk, you know, just celebrating. Then Ryback came back in the ring, hit him with um, a ladder, a chair. Then he put CM Punk through a table and did the Feed Me More chant. The crowd loved Ryback. This guy is over as hell. And March stopped bitching. He over. All your bitching cannot stop Rob Beck push. I'm not a Rob Beck mark, but I'm like what WWE is doing with this guy and they keep making another star. Because all marks and bitching. WWE make a new star. Make a new star. WWE is doing it right now with Rob Beck. And WWE Monday Night Raw was a solid show. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I am out. Peace.